everyone and welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi my name is katie and if you are new here or if you're back welcome i'm so glad you're here and today i'm going to be doing an unboxing of a sneak peek for you guys this is one of diamond art club's new releases this week and so thanks to diamond art club for sending this over for me to share with you guys Hopefully this helps you decide if this is going to be on your shopping list for the weekend. This is the last weekend of releases for 2023 from Diamond Art Club and they've got some good ones coming you guys. So what I have for you today is Flower Fairy by Jamaica Murphy or Jamushka and this is super cute. We're getting several fairies in this artist's series and this one is so 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 pretty. It's actually a pretty good size as well. It is 91.9 .9 by 50.7 seven centimeters or 36 by 20 inches is going to have round shaped diamonds. Now, um, there's some branding on the box. It tells you that this is a round drill diamond painting kit. And then on the back is some info about how to diamond paint and your kit contents. And on the side, there is a QR code you can scan for 10% off your very first, or no, 10% off your purchase, not just your very first purchase. Now, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and would like to save 20% off your first purchase or just to let them know that I sent you, um, I actually have a, a, a code or a link in the description box below that you can click through to their website. Or, and I also have a discount code you're welcome to use that is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20, and that saves you 20% off your first purchase. Please don't feel obligated to use it. You're going to see some other discount codes just in the course of this unboxing, I just suggest taking advantage of some sort of discount code when it comes to making a purchase from Diamond Art Club. Now, this kit along with the other new releases are gonna be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, December 30th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific or 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get about a half an hour early access window. And they typically send out an email and or a text, uh, but they also have de debuted a new feature on their website where if you're logged into your account and check the new arrivals tab at the early release time, they should show up for you under that tab. So nice little, little addition to the website. Now let's take a look at their toolkit that you're gonna get. Okay. All right, so you're gonna get a pen and a squishy. The color on those is gonna vary. You're also gonna get some thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. You can just pop that multi-placer in the end of your pen. You're also going to get some wax in this little caddy, and there is a thin plastic film there on the tops of these. You wanna make sure you peel back before you try to load up your pen. Uh, we've also got a tray and there is a little tray stopper here in the end to help keep the diamonds from sliding out. We've got a bag of baggies if you want to store your leftover diamonds in those you can or kit up into them. And then here we've got a roll of washi tape. Now the print on this will vary and I have a video dedicated to sort of demoing and explaining the different ways that you can use washi tape with your diamond painting. I'll have that linked below. And we also have a cover minder. There are magnets on the back and you can use this to hold back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting. So that is your toolkit. You might notice if you've bought from Diamond Art Club before that uh, if you've gotten a kit with square shaped diamonds that will come with a pair of tweezers as well, but they do not include tweezers with their toolkits that come with their round drill diamond paintings. Diamond Art Club also includes this smaller sticker here. I like, like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. Uh, I like that it has the original artwork and the title and the stats and um, some people will also use it on the side of the box to help organize their stash just a little bit better. Everything else is going to be included here in this bag or plastic dust cover. And this one you guys is going to be a big one so I'm probably going to have to maybe add in a picture later of the whole thing in frame, or actually, you know what? That is pretty close. That is pretty close. We're probably okay. <laughs> that is really, really pretty, you guys. Let me kind of show you the different parts of it. Here's just on the end. You know, I was a little nervous when I saw the size. Not nervous. I just was like, oh, that'll be big at 91.9 .9 centimeters. But you know what? It's really not bad, and it is a round drill kit, so I, I think that it'll go relatively quickly. It looks really pretty. Her face looks striking. I love that, I love that. 
Okay, so here's what's included. We have our diamonds, which we will take a better look at those in just a little bit, but there's a little peek at the colors. And then here we've got a pamphlet with some helpful info in it. There's a thank you note on the front, your kit contents, some step-by-step -step instructions. If you're a beginner, I also have a diamond painting for beginners video you can find below in the description. Here is a link to the VIP Facebook group, which you can join once you've made your first purchase. It is a nice resource. Some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, as well as some tips and tricks, and yet another discount code. And here is... Um, these are QR codes, so it'll take you to the mobile app and you do get 20% off your first purchase in the app as well. So you can be strategic about your discounts. <laughs> Here we've got a larger sticker sheet. There's the title again, Flower Fairy by Jamaica Murphy or Jamushka. A spot to write your start and end date. And there is a bigger and better look at the original artwork. Look at how cute she is. I love her sass. I love these little details in the background. Oh, I'm excited to see where the special drills are gonna go. This is cute. Over here, we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. So if you like to kit up your diamonds into storage containers or baggies, however you like to do it, you do have these labels that are pre-cut for you and make that process go really easily and smoothly. Now, um, the, the code you see, the number in the right-hand column, the color code, this comes from the DMC color code, which is the DMC brand of Floss and most diamond painting companies use this. In Diamond Art Club's numbering system, there are a couple of exceptions though. Anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB, that we're gonna have two of those. And then at the end, sometimes you'll see some color codes with letters at the beginning. In this case, we have four that start with the letter Z. And those are gonna be four different fairy dust colors, which frankly feels pretty apt given that we are working on a kit called Flower Fairy. So I'm gonna tell you more about those special drills and what they are and what makes them special when we're actually looking at the diamonds later. It'll make a bit more sense. But for the moment, for now, let me take you on a tour of the different features on this canvas. So we do have their branding up here at the top. Do what makes you sparkle from Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and poked, have some finishing there so you shouldn't have any fraying. And the back of it is really, really soft to the touch. The material itself of the canvas is really, it's sturdy but also malleable and so it's really nice to work on. It holds drills really well and lays flat really well. And they do have a really nice poured glue as well under this clear plastic cover. So very sticky. <laughs> It does look like, if you were curious, that this is not the new perforated plastic cover. However, that's not to say that none of this kit would come with the new perforated plastic cover. Take a look at a couple of my past sneak peeks where those kits have come with the new cover and you can kind of see what I'm talking about, but we will see them rolling out that out with kits, you know, in the very near future as well. We do have a color list or legend up here at the top left, though it runs almost the whole height of the canvas. You'll find the same color list over here on the bottom right as well. And then at the bottom left, we have a thumbnail and then the title and the size again, and then copyright Jamaica Murphy or Jamushka. This is really important, you guys. This means that this piece is legally licensed from the artist. Diamond Art Club does license all their artwork, which means that this artist has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being fairly compensated for it as well. So that's super important to me with art theft being common in the crafting world. And yeah, so I just wanna always support companies that are doing right by artists. And then here at the bottom, we have info about their socials. Yet another discount code. That's where you wanna follow for info about new releases and whatnot. And then here we have info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. That includes if you run out of diamonds or have trouble with the canvas or glue, you can contact their customer service and uh, they should get you taken care of. Looking at the canvas, we do have really clear printing here, you guys, which is pretty typical for Diamond Art Club kits. I love her wings. <laughs> it looks like there will actually be some good color blocking in here. Color blocking is when you have, let me try to find a good spot to show you. Ooh, actually, well, um, over here is a good one. Okay, lots of the same symbol in a small area like we have here with the letter Y. You'll be able to use a multi-placer and have that color in your tray for a bit longer. And so areas like that will go a little bit faster. We do have some sections of color blocking in the background, but then also a little bit, well, 
I suppose not as much. This is a little unwieldy to work with. Sorry, you guys. Here's her cute face. We do have some uh, confetti as well. I'm seeing it in her hair and even kind of in her eyes. Confetti is when we have more color changes in a small area, kind of like in here. And that means you'll be using a single placer and changing out the color in your tray more often. But the payoff is that you tend to get more detail with more confetti. So um, I like a nice mix of both of my canvases because confetti keeps it interesting. The color blocking does keep it moving. And this kit does seem to have a nice mix of both. See so yeah, the printing is pretty clear. We're looking good. So let me grab my measuring tape. Let's see. All right, so I'm just measuring the drill field where the diamonds are gonna go. And we are at just shy of 92 centimeters and we're listed as 91.9. So that much is true to size. And then we're at almost 51 centimeters, maybe 50 and a half. And we're listed as 50.7. So yeah, we're gonna call that one true to size. All right, let me grab the diamonds and let's take a look at those together. So here we've got, um, there's a sticker on the pack of diamonds so you know what canvas these go with if you store these separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in. There is a look at that really pretty color spread. It kind of is, it's a little bit of spring vibes but it's just happy. <laughs> Flower fairy, kind of the colors you'd expect. now. These are round diamonds, like I mentioned earlier. And right off the bat, you guys, we have our first special drill, Z3766, and I'll zoom you in. And these diamonds have a really pretty glitter coating on the top, and it's almost like a brush of, well, fairy dust. <laughs> I actually really love these diamonds. They have a subtle shimmery effect, and they look so, so, so nice on the canvas. They're my favorite special drill that Diamond Art Club offers. We're gonna have four of them in this kit. So this is the first one. Diamond Art Club does print the DMC code on the bags of diamonds, um, which is really helpful, of course. And then here is our first AB Diamond 140, also a blue, blue special drill. Now, AB drills are definitely more striking than Fairy Dust Star. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and just like the Northern Lights have a really pretty color shift effect, so too does the coating that's painted on the tops of these diamonds. It's so pretty and gonna draw your eyes to the areas that has been charted. So we are definitely gonna take a look together at the canvas and I'll find where the different special drills are going to go. Lots of really pretty and bright colors. My gosh, look at these, they're like candy. <laughs> I love it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Diamond Art Club, this was a few months ago now, they started adding a little line under the number so you know which way is right side up. There are some DMCs that are made up of numbers that you could flip upside down. It would be a different number that also exists in the DMC color code system, like this one, 699. <laughs> um, so it's a nice little, just easy fix that Diamond Art Club did. Now, 141, you guys, that's our second AB. It's a white AB. Got nice kind of like a rainbowy iridescent effect. And that means we should have, oh, there's two more strands left. This is a pretty colorful kit. Um, here is Z3733. This is a pink fairy dust. Actually, I think I've worked with this fairy dust before and I really, really like it. This pretty bubblegum pink. And a little straggler in there. That happens. <laughs> and here's our third fairy dust. This one's kind of an off-white. The coating on top is pretty subtle, but it's there. And here's the fourth berry dust. It is kind of a light, almost a lime green, or just a light green though, almost pastel. Nice, so all those fairy dust colors. And then just these colors we have just the littlest bits of here at the end. And then this last strand, just a short strand of colors here. Pretty purples. And there we have it. All right, let's take a look and see where those 
special drills are gonna go. I think maybe we'll start over on the right side and we'll work our way to the left. So right off the bat, in her wings, you guys, the white that you see, the lines of white that are doing some outlining here, those are all the white AB color that we have. And there's a little bit of that light green fairy dust right here. Um, there is some of the pink fairy dust, is the lightest pink on the petals of this rose. The little white dots you see in the background here, those are white ABs. This little butterfly right here, the white you're seeing is white ABs. Oh, there's a bunch of the blue AB in her wings as well. It's not the darkest blue and it's not the lightest blue. It's one of these middle, like medium blue colors. It's kind of on the insides of each of these wing sections. Oh, that's gonna be really pretty. I also see the blue fairy dust color and that is the lightest blue that you see in these sections on her wings. I, I had a feeling <laughs> that, that her wings in particular were gonna have lots of special drills. So yeah, like blue AB, blue fairy dust. And I'll tell you what, I love, love, love the effect of an AB and a fairy dust right next to each other. It's so pretty. So yeah, right next to each other in a bunch of these sections is blue AB, blue fairy dust all through there. Ooh, I love that. Um, and then let's see, that's the kind of off-white fairy dust. Let me make sure I don't miss that. Um, okay, so that kind of off-white fairy dust, there's two dots of it right here <laughs> in this little spot right here. I can't quite tell what that's supposed to be, but that's where it is. <laughs> and um, let me move this over. I don't really see any special drills in her hair so far. Um, coming down here, so there's some spots here on her clothes, like right here there's a little bit of the off-white fairy dust, as well as right here is some of the off-white fairy dust. There's a big line of it here and over here, just to kind of give a little light to her top there. Then this little jewel on the center of her necklace has blue ABs as well as white ABs. And there's a little bit of the light green fairy dust down here. In her necklace, yeah, right here is the off-white fairy dust, and here and here, and a little bit over here as well, as well as right here. And over here, sorry, down here, I don't wanna miss this. Um, there's some blue fairy dust and white AB. Come back up here to her face and her eyes, and her eyes we have, a handful of blue ABs here and here, and then some white ABs in the middle of her eyes. And then this butterfly up here has some white ABs in it. There's some light green fairy dust right here. And a little bit outlining on her wings over here. There's some of the light green fairy dust here and here. This fairy, ha or butterfly, <laughs> yeah, butterfly, uh, has white ABs. And this little spot over here has some of the off-white fairy dust. This has white ABs, as are the white dots in here. And then the light pink that's in these flower petals on this flower and over here, that is the pink fairy dust color. There's a little bit of that green fairy dust right here. A little bit of blue fairy dust over here. Did I miss? Okay, there's a bunch of blue fairy dust right here. And up here, it's kind of in the sky, gonna give the sky a little bit of a shimmery effect. And then these wings have a similar thing going on to, or this wing has a similar thing going on to as the other one where there's blue ABs and blue fairy dust there. So her wings are really the main place that you're gonna find those special drills. I do also really like the pink fairy dust in the flowers and the white ABs in the background kind of adding some extra highlighting. This looks really, really pretty. And I have to say, I would not let the, the how, how big it is as far as like it being 91 centimeters by 50 centimeters. I still think that this is gonna be a piece that's not gonna be uh, too big of an undertaking. I think that it being round drills helps and there is a lot of color blocking. And I think that all of these special drills are really, really gonna make this worth it. So um, this looks absolutely, adorable i am oh i just noticed you guys 
Her fingernail polish is blue ABs. <laughs> That's so cute. And this ring has that off-white uh, fairy dust too. Anyway, just noticed that, thought I'd mention it. But <laughs> this is really, really cute. Um, I love the sass in the character and I like how Jamushka's artwork is turning out with Diamond Art Club. I think it, it looks really good. And so I think this is gonna be another one that looks really, really, really nice as well. And I'm excited to see how these wings are gonna look with all those special drills. So anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Just as a quick recap, this kit along with the other new releases this week, again, the last release weekend for 2023, are gonna be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, December 30th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get that half an hour early access window. So set those alarms and um, best of luck to you if you're shopping. Let me know if this one's on your list or you're gonna make it to your wish list. I, I highly encourage you to, to shop for this one. It's, it's a cute one and I think it's gonna look really good. So anyway, you guys, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thanks again to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. Thank you to you guys for taking some time to watch. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see lots more diamond painting content from me. I'd love to have you here, but otherwise I'm going to let you go. Have a day and a week that's as amazing as you are, and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.